What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka New York Prepper. In this video, I want to share another overlooked prep. This is overlooked prep number 35. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about firearms parts. And obviously a lot of preppers know that it's important to stockpile ammunition and guns. You know, that's one of the first things that a lot of people stockpile when they first get into prepping is they stockpile as many different kinds of guns as they can or as much ammo as they can and that's definitely a good thing but an area that a lot of preppers especially new preppers overlook is parts you know having spare parts on hand you have to remember that when society collapses you're not going to be able to go on the internet and order parts. Whatever you have is what you're going to have. So if you need a certain type of screw or a spring or a firing pin or, you know, whatever, uh, you're not going to be able to go on to Brownells and order a screw or a spring, you know, because society is going to be in collapse mode, okay? Um, so it's a good idea to stockpile certain parts for your main weapons. And I just have one example I want to share with you guys here. And what you're looking at is my Smith & Wesson Model 629 Performance Center 44 Magnum. And one recent situation that I had with this pistol is I actually broke the screw right here. And this screw is the screw that's responsible for holding the crane in place, okay? So when you open the cylinder, and these are just some dummy rounds that I have in here that I was practicing with for uh, dry fire practice. Um, this screw right here, okay, on the outside of the frame holds the whole crane in, okay? And what happened was, you know, I over-tightened it and this wasn't too long ago, this was just a few weeks ago, I was cleaning it and I took the cylinder off and I put the cylinder back in and I over tightened this screw here and I actually broke the screw. Now, as many of you guys know, I'm a former power lifter and I used to train my grip a lot, so I have unusually strong grip strength. And because of that, you know, sometimes I don't know my own strength, especially when I'm tightening screws and stuff like that. So I over tightened this screw and I broke the screw and I didn't have any replacement screw on hand for this screw to replace this screw here. So this gun was basically taken out of service because of one screw. Okay. And you know, luckily it's not SHTF and I was able to order a new screw for it. But it started to get me thinking about stockpiling little items like that, you know. Um, and, you know, obviously everybody knows that you should have, you know, spare scopes and spare flip-up sights for your AR and spare slings and stuff like that. But the small items like screws, springs firing pins, you know, little items like that, you'd be surprised how critical they are for pretty much any firearm. I don't care what kind of gun it is, whether it's a revolver, bolt action rifle, AR-15, pump action shotgun, lever action rifle, doesn't matter what kind of gun it is. All it takes sometimes is a little tiny screw to break on you and it can affect the performance of your weapon, okay? So I went ahead and I ordered a bunch of screws uh, for my, not just my 44 Magnum, but also for my 500 Magnum. And I ordered like a dozen screws, okay, not just for um, the crane screw over here, but also some extra side plate screws, okay. This is a side plate screw right here. I ordered a bunch of screws for that, a bunch of crane screws. They're only like $5, $10 a piece. So I stocked up and I got a bunch. And I'm going to do that for a lot of my other guns. Um, you know, because screws are the type of thing that, you know, as you, a lot of you guys know, you can easily break a screw. You can strip the screw if you, 
you slip out, you know, you're tightening it really tightly and you slip out and you, you can break the screw. Um, so stock up on parts, okay, have spare parts on hand. And I'm not just talking about having spare flip-up sights and stuff like that, you know, but smaller things like screws, springs, firing pin, um, smaller items like that, smaller internal parts, it's good to keep them on hand, okay? Uh, because once society collapses, the internet doesn't work, you're not going to be able to just have packages come in with spare parts as you need them. You're going to have whatever you have, and that's it. So sit down and think about what kind of parts are critical for the operation of your weapons and stockpile spare parts for those weapons that you that are are critical for the defense of your homestead and defense of your bug out location or bug in location and just stockpile them okay another example that uh i want to show you guys also is here's my bolt action 300 win mag and you guys have seen this in a lot of my uh recent videos and another example here is just the, the uh, receiver screws. Okay, here's one screw down in there. And then there's two screws over here. Okay. Um, you know, I could easily strip one of these screws because they have to be torqued extremely tightly. And I, I could easily strip out, you know, the screw uh, by putting a lot of pressure on it and slipping out with my Allen wrench. And, um, you know, once these screws are stripped out and messed up, that's it, you know, you're not going to be able to tighten down your receiver to the stock, which is critical, especially for a long-range precision rifle like this. So, you know, order yourself some spare action screws if you have bolt-action rifles or any other kind of firearm where you have action screws, receiver screws. All right, these receiver screws are absolutely essential. These three screws here are essential for the uh, proper uh performance of this gun okay if one of these screws gets messed up this gun is out of the fight or it's going to be extremely inaccurate okay so you know these types of screws may only cost you 10 bucks but you know when something happens to them you're going to wish that you had them on hand okay so and there's a lot of other things you could stock up on too you can stock up on springs you know um magazines obviously um, but I'm thinking about smaller parts, okay? I'm not talking about larger things like magazines and um, things like that, okay? I'm talking about smaller parts, screws, springs. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you learned something. Get out there and stock up on your small parts, your screws, your springs, okay? Firing pins. And that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps, prepare, practice, and persevere.